Welcome to the 2009 Solar Decathlon in Washington, D.C. We are now at the Icon Solar House built by the University of Minnesota. At first glance, the house looks very modern. The house has a lot of deck space accompanied by plant life. The concept for the design of the house was to make it look like the iconic shape of a house with a triangular gabled roof one would draw as a child. The team said that they had to modify the traditional gable roof in order to have the appropriate angles and surface area for solar collection in Minnesota. That is one reason why the whole back of the roof is covered with solar panels. The house not only uses solar panels to produce electricity, but they also use solar panels to help heat water. The solar panels heat water for two purposes. One is to generate hot water for domestic uses, and the second purpose is to heat water that is used for radiant floor heating. Let's now take a look at the interior of the house. My first impression was the house is very open compared to some of the other houses I've seen at the Solar Decathlon. It has a spacious family room with a couch and flat screen TV. The bedroom, however, is very small. The bedroom will be the toughest obstacle for people to live in the house. The house uses only LED and natural lights to illuminate the house. The team said that using LED lights throughout the house is equivalent to the amount of energy used in five traditional 100-watt incandescent light bulbs. The windows of the house are strategically placed so that light shines through most of the day. The house has plenty of electronics and appliances, including a washer and dryer, TV, computer, stove, dishwasher, and refrigerator. All the electronics and appliances are powered by solar power. The house is connected to a power grid, so the power they produce gets sent to the grid and when the house needs power it pulls it from the grid. The house as designed will produce more power than it actually uses. That is what makes a solar house special. From all of us at Penn State Brandywine, thanks for watching.